Hey, it's Sally, and in this video, we're going to do something pretty exciting in Excel. We're going to make an order form with drop down selection boxes. So, this is going to be really handy if, uh, you know, if if you sell items and you need an order form that people can fill out um, on their computer and either you know fax in or email in um, it's just super handy so what I do first is I like to lay out the content that I want on the order form and then later I will go in and I'll pretty it up but the first thing so we want like date uh, name uh, email address uh, street address city state uh, zip so there's some basics there and then uh, we'll just say this is for shirts okay we're gonna have you know maybe we'll have people order shirts so we want to how about shirt size and then how about color and then design and then you can select quantity if you want And later on, once you learn some more skills, what you can do is actually set up uh, formulas, you know, like the if-then type formulas. So if you only have certain colors available and certain sizes, you can set that up. So as they select, it will limit what they can choose. I'm not going to cover that in this video. I'm just going to do basics with you right now. So, uh, but that is something you can do. I'm going to put these in there. Okay, so then we'll just put uh, some billing information. So again, you want to be really cautious about including credit card numbers and anything. Uh, but just for the sake of this, we're going to put it in there because there's some things that uh, that you need to know when you're when you have a credit card form uh, in here. So we'll put like credit card number. We'll do expiration date. And then let's see, we need the CVC and then name on card, billing, zip code. Okay, so it's not, it's not amazing, but this is all the basic content that we want on our form here. So the next thing I do is I want to format the cells to have certain information in them. So the date, so what we're going to do here is we want this to be a date. So I will click up here and we'll just pick short date. And typically what I do is I will fill this out while I work on it just to make sure that the fields uh, fill out properly. So we'll put that, we'll put email at email.com street address one two three main street right uh, city state now for the zip uh, if you're on the east coast or if you have customers on the east coast uh, you may know that uh, some zip codes start with a zero but when they type that in it drops that zero off the front uh, if you know to expect this it may not be a big problem but I like to be as accurate as possible. So what we're going to do here is we're going to format this uh, this field. So you can either go up to here to format and then format cells or you can right click and then select format cells. Same deal. So what we're going to do here is click on special and they have a field just for this. So they have zip code and as you can see in the sample here it shows that it's going to show up correctly. If you need the zip code plus four, you can include that there, but we just want the zip code. So I'm going to click on OK. Boom, it's fixed. OK, now for the drop down menus. So what we're going to need to do here is we need to make lists. 
and you can do it on this page if you want or you can add a new tab either way um, it's it's pretty easy I'm just gonna do it right here um, I typically don't like to just because uh, if you adjust information you could screw up your your list but um, uh, for this case just to make it easy to see I'm gonna do it right here so what I like to do is I am going to do this I should have done uh, transpose but I'm just gonna pop these in here so there we go so what we need to do here is we're gonna make lists so uh, we want to start smallest to largest um, or whatever order you want it in. It's a little difficult to to adjust this data once you've you've created it um, because what we're going to do is we're going to list out the options here and then we're going to select them and we're going to name these selections. So if you need to add to this list we've got to do so pretty carefully. That's why I typically like to do it in another sheet, but we'll just uh, we'll just do it here. So extra small, small. Oops, not shirt size. Small, medium, large, x large, two XL. We'll just stop there. Color. So maybe we want to offer black, white, blue, red. Uh, maybe we want these in alphabetical order, so I'm just going to select them, go to data, boom, uh, continue, there we go, design, so we'll just do uh, logo 1, logo 2, two logo 3, and quantity, we'll do 1, 2, 3, and then We'll just go up to ten. Okay, so this this may not exactly make sense, but uh, you get the the gist of what we're doing here. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to select this, and and uh, go up here to this field here, and we're going to name it. So I'm going to name it shirt size. So all one word, same deal there and just press enter. So now this area is named shirt size. So if I go anywhere, um, if I want to find out what what I've got selected there, I can just click there. Boom, there's shirt size. So same for color. Again, color, design, and then quantity. There we go. So we have our drop down boxes, uh, or our, our content for our drop down boxes. So now to go ahead and insert those drop down boxes. So this, this is where it gets a little weird, um, but it's totally exciting once you know how to do this. So, so first thing we're going to do is we want to make a drop down box for our shirt sizes. So we're going to go up here to data validation. Okay, it sounds kind of weird, but that's where you go. So in settings, we want to change this to list. And then for the source, so here ignore blank, so that's cool. And then in cell drop down, that's perfect. That's exactly what we want. So here's where it comes in handy that we just named these sections. So we're going to call it shirt size. And then you can click here on input message so if you want to put a certain message in there you can do that here if you want an error alert you can set that up here so you can leave warnings or if they leave you know if it's a required field that's where you can set that up there so we're going to click OK and ah oh, there we go shoot OK we're going to do equals shirt size there we go so you need the equals sign there so there's our drop down so same for color we'll go up to data validation I will do it right this time uh, click on list leave that as is equals color so 
make sure I, I capitalized it, so make sure that you capitalize it uh, if that's what you do. So there we go. Uh, design, same deal, data validation. It can be a little bit tedious, but this, it just, it saves so much time, and then you don't have to read people's terrible handwriting. Um, I just, I, I really prefer doing it this way. So equals quantity. There we go. So we have all of our drop downs here. So those work. And typically I like to make these a different color. So we'll do that on the home tab here. So maybe we'll do them just like a, a faint color, just so people know there's, uh, you know, something, something to do here. Maybe we'll, we could put like a, a border around it, um, something like that. You know, maybe we want all borders and then we can do like a, you know, there we go. So, uh, okay, so we have our drop downs. That's really cool. And then people think you're pretty cool if you can do that. So then now we have the credit card information. So here's where you got to pay attention because for some reason, Excel thinks that important numbers stop at 15, which is cool if you have an American Express. But if you have a Visa MasterCard, those are 16 digits. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Oh. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's say that's just a typical credit card number. Um, there's you know four sets of four numbers. So okay, so this looks totally screwy here, right? Okay, whatever. But now if you pay attention and you look at the number that it actually translates to, the last number should be four there, but they drop it off. They drop it to a zero because only the first fifteen digits matter. So what we must do in this field, I'm going to delete this. Uh, so initially I thought maybe we could make it, you know, do like a custom, you know, if we format it, you could do the custom, custom number. So you could do, you know, uh, you know, do that, you know, 16 times. That does not, that will not work. Okay. So the way to do this is we have to set it as text and you may get an error message uh, that you know hey you're putting a number in a text field but that's that's how you got to do it so we'll try this one more time there we go and there is our warning number stored as text that's perfect that's how we want it uh, expiration date again we want to set this as actually we want to customize this so we want to select date. So we just want month and year. So maybe we want to, let's see. Okay, so we want just month and year. So we're gonna click March 12 because looking at the example here, uh, March and 2012 is the example. So we'll click okay. Uh, CVC, that's just a regular number. Name on card, that's regular text. Zip code, again, we want to go up to format, special, and then zip code. Okay, so we'll put, um, so it's January of 2016. So there we go, that works fine. One, two, three, name, zero, one, two, three, four. Okay, so there we go. So if you want to format these, either left, right, middle, uh, whatever looks best, you can do that. Uh, and you may want to move these fields over. Just be really cautious about how you handle these because you named these sections here. So, um, so you can add some columns here if you want. Just make sure that these are still named as you selected them. And then typically what I will do is I will hide any of this information here. Um, they don't need to see this here. So I'll just right click and hide. 
and there you go so you have your order form right here uh, it looks great you can have it printed out it's totally legible and it just just a really handy way to do it and it it's cool having the drop downs because that way you don't have to have a separate list of what the options are they can access it right here so realize okay these are the sizes available colors and so on so i hope this was helpful don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have any questions or comments post them in the in the uh, comment section i do read it and have a great day thank you so much for tuning in